Okay everyone, today we're going to be seeing what happens when we put a superconductor on a giant neodymium monster magnet. So in order to cool this down, we need some liquid nitrogen. So I have here a ceramic with the acronym YBCO. It has yttrium, barium, copper, and oxygen in it. Now this is a type two superconductor. And what that means is that it can actually undergo quantum locking. So now what's quantum locking you ask? Well, let me show you. Okay, put our superconductor down. Let's bring our magnet near it. Here we go. Whoa, picks it right up. Whoa, no way. <laughs> Look at that. It's like there's a string connected to it. Holy cow, that is so cool. It just holds it in place like that. That is amazing. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's like there's a string connected to it, but it's not. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> okay, let's try it like this with my magnet on top of this acrylic box here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Then I can pull it down. And it just stays there. That is so cool. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. See if it can carry stuff. Look how low that is. That is amazing. Look at the springiness of it. When I pull it down, how it goes back. <laughs> now the effect that I just showed with my giant neodymium magnet is due to quantum locking. And I explained this in depth in a different video. The overview of it now is just saying that in normal superconductors, magnetic field lines go around it. But for a type two superconductor like this, some of the magnetic field lines can penetrate it because there's spots on it that aren't superconductive. And so the magnetic field lines go through it and what that means is that when you put it near a magnetic field, it locks it in place wherever it is. Any place where there's symmetrical magnetic fields, it can move through that, but where it's asymmetrical, it can't move through those magnetic fields. So as you move it further away from the magnetic, that's asymmetrical, moving it away from it, and so it gets locked in place at, at a distance. But moving it across the plane of the magnet, that's symmetrical and so it can move easily. So that's why you can shake it and it just kind of rocks back and forth and back and forth. So you'll notice with this, it took some energy to move the superconductor away from the magnet. That's because you're actually applying a force to the impurities in the lattice. So as you move it through, it's causing some internal stresses there that's heating it up a little bit. So I'll put a link to the other video in my description and I'll put a card for it. You can go check it out as well. It's really cool. 
And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to subscribe if you haven't yet and you can hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest videos out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.